Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing uh, recent provisions to allow foreign accountants uh, possibly being allowed to apply their trade here in the kingdom. Um, in a recent article from the Straits Times, that's straitstimes.com, the title being Thai Ministry to Review Nod for Skilled Foreigners, quoting directly, under pressure from domestic councils representing engineers, architects, and accountants, Thailand's labor ministry will review a recommendation that the country open up skilled labor markets to engineers, architects, and accountants from other countries as required under an ASEAN agreement signed in 2001. So before I quote further, the thing to keep, keep in mind with respect to this is it primarily pertains to other member states or the nationals thereof within the ASEAN community. Uh, Labor Minister Adul Sang Sing Kao said the country's ASEAN commitment is conditional upon compliance with domestic regulations governing each of the three professions. So there are local um, professional associations with, which govern these professions and notwithstanding the provisions under the ASEAN agreements, you've still got to deal uh, with, with being certified under those, under those um, associations. Quoting further, Thailand's Council of Engineers, the Architects Council, and the Federation of Accounting Professions have voiced opposition. All three professional groupings on Friday, June 1, submitted their arguments against the move to the Labor Ministry. All three bodies have argued that there was no shortage of these skilled workers in Thailand, with new graduates joining the labor market every year. According to the Federation of Accounting Professions, Thai accountants would be disadvantaged if the domestic market is opened up to foreigners. Vice Chairman of the Federation said Thailand currently has about 10,000 auditors and another 60,000 professional accountants, more than enough to cover the total number of companies registered in Thailand that are required to use their professional services. Anurak Tosarat, Director General of the Department of Employment, said all foreign skilled workers need to apply for licenses from Thai professional bodies before they can work here. And I urge those who are watching this video to go check that, um, that article out in detail as there's a lot more information in there. I'm simply discussing the issue of accountants in Thailand. Um, a bit of a commentary here. Under, again, as noted in the article, under ASEAN or the ASEAN agreement, the overall framework of ASEAN, it was stipulated that there would be certain professions uh, that would have more free movement uh, within the ASEAN bloc. Um, accountants were one of those professions. Um, as noted, I think domestically, first of all, individuals who come from outside of the kingdom to uh, engage in the profession of accounting uh, presumably would need to go ahead and pass the re re uh, excuse me, requisite exams associated with the type of accounting they wanted to undertake. Um, I would think that with respect to those exams, I believe they're probably going to be in the Thai language, although I can't say that for certain. Um, and if they are, that would probably preclude a large number of people from undertaking such exams. And moreover, it doesn't seem like it's a foregone conclusion that we're going to see uh, that particular profession opened up to uh, intra-ASEAN competition anytime in the near future. 